Welcome back to Curiosity Corner Live. My name is Joy, and this morning we made our own paint using materials that we could find at home, all inspired by our friends at PPG. And PPG is doing incredible work, including renovating our demonstration labs on the second floor of the Great Lakes Science Center. And I am super excited to check those out once those are finished. But this morning, I told you that I was going to show you how to make another type of paint. So right now we are going to make some puffy paint. And I absolutely love puffy paint because you can make a 3D picture, which is pretty darn cool. But you don't need to go to the store to get puffy paint in order to make that happen. Because we can make it using a few household ingredients. Number one is self-rising flour. If you don't have any self-rising flour, that's okay. You just need one cup of regular flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So you put those all in a bowl, mix them up, and you have your own homemade self-rising flour. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a tablespoon of that mixture, put it in my cup, and then I'm going to add my pigment. So I'm just using food coloring still. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my pigment in there. I'm gonna do, we'll do 10 drops. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, and then you need to add a tablespoon of salt and just regular table table salt will work perfectly. So get a tablespoon of that and we're gonna pour that in to that. And just like earlier today, our solvent is the water. So you're gonna pour a little bit at a time into your cup. And the thing with puffy paint is it's usually a little bit thicker because it needs to have that structure in order to stand up and be three dimensional. So you probably won't need to add as much water or stir as long, which is nice. So I didn't add quite enough water. This is kind of like a glop still. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. There we go. Make sure that's mixed nice and evenly. Now, once your puffy paint is to a texture that you're happy with, you can apply it to your paper with a number of different tools. You can try it with a paintbrush. You can try a cotton swab or a toothpick, maybe a craft stick, whatever you have. Or what works really well is if you have a squeeze bottle at home and you pour it in, you can squeeze it out kind of like the puffy paint you get at the store. So I have my nice paint texture and I do happen to have a squeeze bottle. So I'm going to pour it in. I already have a little bit of puffy paint in here. So I'm gonna to add to that. I'm gonna pour that in right there. And I'm going to make a 3D picture using my homemade puffy paint. So I think since I did red, I wanna make a heart. And because I love science, I'm gonna do an I heart science, cause why not? Gotta wait for the paint to get where I want it to go. There we go. I'm gonna do my heart. And so let's see, do a heart, just like that. And then write out an I, art science. Ooh, that oh, is turning out pretty well. Now, I could leave this out to dry for hours and hours and hours or I could just show you the finished product so it doesn't drip. So this is a finished version that is dry and it stayed nice and puffy and that's cool. Or a little trick that I learned, if you grab a grown up to help you, you can pop it in the microwave for about 30 seconds and the baking powder and the flour will react and the paint will puff up even more. So you can have your very own 3D picture. So that's pretty darn cool. Now we looked at paint today and tomorrow we're gonna have more about how certain things flow. So you're gonna visit our friends at Moen and they are going to teach you about water flow rate. So make sure you subscribe to this channel, come back tomorrow and every day at 10.30 and at three. Keep creating, have fun, and until next time, stay curious.